This game is called Love Letter. Love Letter is a skill-based game where the main goal is to get rid of everyone else. The one card, the guard, is a card if is a card where if the player uh, deals the card and they point at another person, that pers if the person that dealt the card guesses that person's uh, hand correctly, then that person is out of the game. The two card, the prince lets you, the priest lets you look at another player's hand. The, the three card, the baron, uh, lets you and another player secretly compare hands. And the person with the highest value uh, wins, and the person with the lowest value is out of the game. The four, the handmaid. This card uh, lets you have uh, no effect from any other players until your next turn. The six, the five card, the prince. Choose any other player, including yourself, to discard his or her hand and draw a new card. The six card, the king. Uh, trade hands with another player uh, of your choice. The seven card, the countess. If you have this card, you must discard it if you get a five card, a prince, or a six card, a king. And finally, the eight card, the princess. The princess is not necessarily the best card, but if you discard this card, you will be out of the game until the next round. The game comes with four player cards that detail exactly how each of these cards move. Their value is on the far left hand side, and next to their name, in parentheses, is the number of how many cards there are. When people play cards, it's to your best interest to keep count of how many cards have been played of each type so that you can narrow down the possibilities of the cards they might have in their hands. The way to play Love Letter is first you're going to shuffle the cards. So once you have all your cards shuffled, you're going to take one card and you're going to place it in the sack. And then you're going to deal out one card to everybody. And let's say it's his turn first, so we're going to give him one more card because it's his turn. Okay. He's going to take the priest, which that allows him to look at one player's hand. And you have to play one card every time. Okay, now it's going to be his turn, so he takes a card. Okay. He has a card, so if he guesses somebody's card, they're out of the game. Do you have a, a guard? You can't guess a card. But you're already guessed that. Okay. Do you have the con the kid the play continues until either one player is left because they have guessed or knocked out other players using cards like the Baron, Prince, or Guards, or two players are left. When there's no more cards to draw, both players will reveal their hand, and the person who has the highest value card, say Princess, who has a value of 8, will be the winner over the person who has a lower value card. For example, a prince who has a value of five. At this point, you can shuffle back up and deal the cards out again.